A folk song from Cameroon fills a suburban hall. There's no doubt that for those here, joy is on the agenda. I just think you get to really use your vocal cords and and just and, and when everyone's singing together, it's, it's very moving. Alejandra Rojas gets her love of music from her parents who were in a Chilean folk group. She's joined the Bankstown World Music Choir because she also wanted to learn to sing in other languages. I especially like the French because you get to um, pronounce the, the French words and it's very exciting to you know, say son le matin, you know, that's very exciting. You don't get to do that very often. Italian folk song or a Vietnamese love ballad, it doesn't matter which language you sing in. Here at the Bankstown World Music Choir, it's simply about the joy of singing and about having a go. And for Indian-born Seema Ghed, the focus on language has helped her embrace her own Indian musical heritage. India has so many languages, but any music from any region is just beautiful. And once you understand the meaning of the words, it's just so good. I've always loved to sing, but I guess I never had the opportunity. And now Seema and the rest of the choir are gearing up for one of their biggest performances yet. We're going to be part of a, a combined choir project um, singing at the Opera House uh, with the Opera Orchestra under the directorship of an opera conductor. It'll be very exciting. Alusain Sanko is originally from Sierra Leone. While he's excited about the Opera House performance, it's the joy he gets from singing that keeps him coming back. Yeah, I get a lot of happiness from singing. He gets me very excited sometimes and yeah, happy. And the Bankstown Community Choir will make up part of a mass community choir concert at the Sydney Opera House on the 1st of November. Peggy Giacomelos, SBS World News.